costume breakdown so you can see the full everything that we have worked on. So let's start from the top. The wig. It's, what was this wig called? It's an Arda wig. Can't remember what, what the model was. I think it was Magnum. And it was fabulous wig. So cut some little bangs in the front because if you look at her hair, it at first like it looks fine, but then you look closer and it's like, oh, someone did something horrible to your head. Oh dear. So there's tiny bangs, but then there's long bangs on top of it. What this thing is right here is it's just a tiny little hook. Any kind of like earring hook can get anywhere. And this is actually combed out yarn. What I did is I ran a dog brush through it. It was a little bit too delicate for that, and the dog brush mostly just like ripped it apart. Eventually it kind of found a good rhythm, or I guess intensity of brushing for it, and it works. So it's fine. Everything's fine. And then just beads and such on a piece of wire. So the necklace did something really fun for the necklace. You can't see it from here. Basically what this necklace is, is it's some fancy looking chain, got at Joann's, because Joann's, um, and took a bit of wire and some uh, jewelry pliers of varying styles and bent this wire into this kind of um, loop, loop-de-loop -loop shape. And bracelets. So I don't know what these things are, but we found them at Joann's. <laughs> And, um, they're, I don't know what they are. They're like little rectangle things of varying lengths. And they all have the same little loop in them. And I just kind of ignored the loop and strung them together. And the other one was just, um, kind of pearl-like beads strung on, together. On fishing wire, because yeah. that's what we had. And fishing wire is very strong. Yep. Because fishing. Just simple 10-pound fishing wire so that it's, you know, thin. You can barely see it. And it just works. It doesn't break apart. I laughed so hard if it just it's right now. Oh, and then for the ring, what we did is we took uh, the same flower bead that was on the necklace and we took some more wire and just kind of strung it through and oh, those are actually nails. Okay, well I did that apparently. I didn't remember. So yeah, any, any metal really will work apparently, <laughs> including nails. As long as it bends. <laughs> yes. As long as you can bend it. And because this wire was a little bit thin, what I did is took it and twisted it with, um, took two pieces of wire and twisted them together and then just bent them in a vaguely ring-like shape and didn't even really need to connect them. See? And that way it's also adjustable so I can just like play with it do whatever I want with it. These sleeves are very fun to make. So basically it's just square cut broadcloth. Um, this is leather, leather string, a couple of wooden beads painted, um, and then we used, what is the brand of dye that we used for this? Basically what we did is we took the sleeve, dipped the very end of it in the pink dye, and then ran it up the um, sleeve with our fingers. The shirt is completely improvised. Don't do that. We took a strip of the same broadcloth fabric as the sleeves, laid it flat, and then just wrapped it around my head and over my boobs, and then down the side, and then just kind of pinned it where it was supposed to go. And then sewed it. And then attached string to each side so you could tie it. Bra thing, this is just a regular old black bra that was coming apart anyway. So basically took that and basically just took a black bra, cut it apart, and sewed it back together. It took off all the clasps and things because it didn't need it. It was stretchy, so it's fine. Obi, Obi, this one was fun. This is a lot of interfacing. As you can see, it's attached with Velcro. The bow is not actually attached. Now this is a completely bastardized version of an OB, it's pretty great. Alright, so basically took gold cloth, pulled it together, put interfacing everywhere in here, and took a couple of same pieces, like strips of the gold cloth with interfacing in it, like you see on this one, in this hollow piece, and just kind of molded it again, improvised the entirety of the bow. The skirts! So we did mess up a little bit on the skirt, 
because we didn't give it as much fabric as it generally needed for these these types of pleats, but made it work, adjusted until it fit, and it looks good, so whatever. Um, this is all tulip paint um, with a little bit of a lining, satin lining at the bottom. Um, there's just a huge slit up the side so that I can actually get into it. Boots, plain black boots, good little purchase. We actually didn't have to do anything with those. Yeah, no, it was, it was awesome. great. Fantastic. The set. So here it is in all of its glory. Complete with bell, as you can hear. We are blessing the entire convention because it would just keep swinging centrical force like this. That was pretty great. I kept hitting Cat in the back of the... It was very fun. So great. So fun. So fun. Fun for me. Yeah. So what we did is, this is just PVC pipe, cork board, various pieces of cork board, um, spackle to get the final shape, and then coated with resin, and that's all up in here. This part was actually really fun because for the head of the, the staff, what we did is we took two pieces of cork board, glued them together, and then cut out the general shape, and then for these uh, staggered pieces, the blue pieces, we took just pe one layer of the cork board that was cut out and glued it back in. And that is our Yuma! <laughs> Um, we did get the Attention to Detail Award at KrakenCon, yes. so yay for that. I know we kind of mentioned that in the last video, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we're really proud of it. Yes, <laughs> yes we are. Alright guys, I'm Kat. I'm Tyga. Thanks for watching. Bye.